Well, hello, sisters. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for looking at my other videos uh, the other day. Let's say prayers, and I'll tell you what we're going to be eating today. I'm excited again. Oh, Father God, I just say thank you. This is going to be my thankful prayer. Thank you for loving us and keeping us and teaching us and using us. Bless the countries that's going on in the war, fires. My God, just have mercy upon all of us. For these YouTubers with the drama, my God, we are a community. Let us all love one another and lift everybody up and, you know, contribute to their pages, Lord. And just have your way, Lord. I tell you, have your way. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body and have your way, my God. Have your way. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. My God, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Ooh, hold the spirit rain. I'm telling you. All right, y'all. Welcome back. All my new hustlers that's coming in, you're so welcome in the family. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, uh, that notification bell, so every time I load a video up, you are going to get it. Don't forget to share, like, and comment. I'm telling you, I'm getting some really good feedback. And so for that, I say thank you for all of my subscribers. So this is what we're going to eat. You know, I'm so loving, you know, eat with Kim when she brought the cucumbers, the rice, and the sausage. That's what I'm eating today. I have some leftover uh, uh, Dame Dish dipping sauce. And I'm going to have to make some more because it's so really, really, really good. And I say thank y'all. So look here. Come on in. Take a seat. Come on eat with that only one hood girl. Bring your cocktail, Kool-Aid, and water. Your snacks, your food. Let's sit down. We're going to chat a bit today. So the toast for, I'm going to toast for the whole YouTube community. Let your heart guide. Let your words heal. We are our family. Stretch out your hands. Hug and love. Yeah. And salute. Clink, clink. Clink, clink. Sip, sip. The good stuff. Oh, Y'all know, if y'all know what I'm drinking, comment below. I'm not going to say it today. Sometimes I fix drinks so good, that bartender thing just comes out. Mm-hmm. It's good. All right, y'all. So I think I'm going to put some of this sauce over my rice. Ooh. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Am I wasting? Ooh, yes, I am. That's all right, because I'm going to eat it all. Ooh, look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Yes, yes, and yes. Let me put this on something, because, uh... Oh, Okay, y'all, this is the last day of, uh, of Life Goes On, my life, my story. Uh, I really wish I can put my... Mm. That's a you dang dash. This sauce. Look, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. So good. God, this is so good. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Take the first bite. I don't mind sharing, honey. Here you go. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Give me some. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 
What did I leave off yesterday with that crazy, jealous man? When I got off of work? Oh, no, yeah, and, and my bed was unmade. Oh, and then I told him I don't think we need to uh, see each other anymore. I'm hungry, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, uh -huh. oh, a hot. Oh, that's so hot. Mm. Mm. I could never get enough of this. Eat with Kim, you brought a brilliant meal. Hmm. I love it. Thank you. Okay, so I don't want to duplicate. Um, I remember saying that I told him it wasn't good, and that's when it got so scary, y'all. I told him we couldn't be together. I'm going to have to step back. Oh, uh, I Y'all, you know, I was once a fighter for myself. When I calmed down because of my children, fear came in. Oh, my God. Oh, I told y'all, every time I went to work, everywhere I was, there he was, there he was, there he was. And I'm thinking, like, this is some creepy shit. Creepy. He could not let me go. This is hot. He could not let me go, y'all. Whatever he liked about me, he loved it to almost to death. Follow this particular story. He almost loved it to death. Mm, mm, mm. Everywhere I went, y'all, he was there. So I had a neighbor, his townhouse was right behind me. He was a Jamaican guy. I'm not going to call his name either, you know, for privacy reasons. I'm going to get sued. I'm going to get sued, y'all. You know what? I need to cut this sausage up because I ain't going to be struggling trying to tell my story. Cut the sausage. I want the, I want the, um, Cucumbers and rice and sausage in the same time. <laughs> Y'all, this and dual and how you say it, andouille sausage too? Yeah, it's good too. This whole meal is just good. So he asked me, I was outside, and he asked me to come over and sit with him because he had just made some uh some curry goat, rice and peas, and plantain. And he told me, he said, Bonita, that man, him hide him car in the back of the building, man. Him come up, him come up and he he walk around your apartment looking to your windows. He said, be careful. Y'all, talk about fear. I'm like, what the hell? He said almost every day he parked his gold Volvo in the back of the townhouses and he walked through, you know, the sidewalks curving and curving to get to my townhouse to see who's there and if I'm there and to listen if I'm doing anything. That, ooh, when he told me that, y'all, my fear elevated, taller than me. That fear, elevated. Man, this is good. Look at that. Oh, y'all, when I get my new YouTube camera, boy, I, I want to learn how to 
edit. I don't know how to edit still, y'all. And this is like my 33rd video. <laughs> I don't even know how to edit. I don't care what y'all think. I don't care. I'll learn, though. I need somebody really to sit by me because that's how I learn. So, y'all fear elevated. Mm. Mm. Mm, oh God. Mm. Fear elevated with me, y'all. I'm so scared. But then, you know, we still had um, answering machines, right? One day, I had 57 messages. And as they played back, you know, it was like a movie. You know, it's like that movie. I like a movie like you date this creepy person. And you know it wasn't good. And... The phone calls started coming. The messages started coming. Honey, every message, one after another. I love you. Don't leave me. I love you. Don't leave me. Don't, I love you. Don't leave me. And I'm thinking like, oh, God. I mean, I, I, I think I met a crazed man. Oh, ha. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all that smoke? Oh, God. Mm. Oh, that's a baby cow. <laughs> oh, hot. Honey. He creeps everywhere I was on my job, y'all. I was so scared. I told my supervisor, I told the, the uh, what you call it, the director. But he had been there so long before I even came. So, not much was done. He did get a write-up, though. Because he was not supposed, because he was the, the limo driver. He was not supposed to be in uh, the residence apartment unless they had something scheduled. So, they got him on that one. Hallelujah. But at that time, everybody knew. <laughs> everybody then knew our relationship. I hated that. People started asking me questions. And, you know, back then I was, a, I was you know, <laughs> I was a wild child back then. I, I'll, tell you, get, I'll tell you where to get off. And I did. I don't know. Anyway, it got so. I couldn't take it no more. So one night again, y'all, I worked the double. I got off at 11. The babysitter said, don't worry about getting the children. I was good about that. I'm glad about it. Not good, glad. Because I really was tired. I came in. I went upstairs. I locked, I locked the doors. I came upstairs. Uh, I took a shower. I smoked a cigarette before I went to sleep. I said prayers. Honey, I woke up the next morning and I sat inside the bed, right? Because I was off that next day. Because I worked two doubles that week, I want to say. I was off that next day. Y'all, I, I tell my, I'm going to backtrack my steps. I got off. I got home. I locked doors. I took a shower. I smoked a cigarette. I said prayers. I went to bed. Honey, I woke up that next morning, y'all. There's some creepy shit here. And I sat on side of the bed to light a cigarette. And out my peripheral view, that was this towel on my headboard. Ooh! Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Y'all got to see this. Baby, my name, Dad. South man is kicking. Mm. Y'all, it was a towel on the headboard. 
you know, for real, my heart, uh, you can see it beating out of my, uh, my pajama shirt. Ooh, I, and, and, and you know, like, you know, like, like in the movie, for real, you have to think back, like, what did you do last night? You know, you ain't crazy. But this towel, and y'all, <laughs> you know, I, I, I very fearfully reached over like this, you know, and I'm thinking like, I don't know, because I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared to death now. I just happened to just slowly reach over in a, I had to touch that towel because I knew I didn't go to bed with a towel. What the hell I need a towel for? I just, I had already took it back in my bath. Lord, that towel was damp wet. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all the whole story. There was a porno video on the TV. That towel lay on my headboard, wet. Woo, here comes the scary part. The phone wrong. <laughs> I ain't lying, y'all. This is like some shit you see on the movie, right? I'm, I'm shaking. I answered that phone. That was that fool on the other end. He said, did you see the towel? I couldn't say nothing, y'all. Because he had that big, really deep voice, too. You know, remind you, he was 6'2", 6'3", and he was, you know, heavy. Huh? I was scared. I couldn't say nothing, y'all. And then I said, how are you getting in my town home. Because I, I knew it wasn't nobody but him, y'all. It had to be. Wasn't nobody else. I was scared to let anybody else come over. Shoot. His voice said, and I'm holding that phone, y'all. You know, I'm already shaking. And I'm asking, how did you get in? He said, you'll never know. Woo! He hung up the phone. I ran down. I ran down the stairs, y'all. I ran down. I checked out in windows because I told y'all previously that my brother, when I first moved in, because it was two story and all the bedrooms were upstairs, I had him to come in and we went to Home Depot and we had purchased some special locks that you could put on each side of that window. So if somebody tried to lift it, it wasn't raised. Honey, I checked every window, every window, every window. My God, I didn't know. And then I'm like, did he, did he? Did he make a copy of my key when I was asleep? Did he take it? I was never without my key. And I'm scared to death now, y'all. I'm like, oh, shit. I think I might have to move, right? So the first thing I did is found another job because I knew I had to quit that damn job. I had to. That made him even more crazy. Was my life just bound and determined to be topsy-turvy? It was. <laughs> As I talk it through now, I could laugh at some parts. I really can, y'all. I'm healed. I'm still healing. But so many things that had me crying all the time, I'm really talking it out. Yeah, that's good. Huh? I had to quit that job. That made him... Crazy. If y'all think I'm lying, I wish y'all could have been with me. At the red light, he there. At the stop sign. I'm thinking like, you work for this retirement home and you work for Channel 13. How in the hell do you have somebody watching me letting you know every fucking move I make? He tried to scare me, y'all, out of my mind. Awful. And then I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all remember back in the day, the landline phone, you can screw the... I'm telling y'all, this shit sound like it should be in the movie. I ain't lying. You know, you can... Uh, I'm hungry, y'all. Let me, let me eat.
I'm gonna go after him. Come on, girl, come on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he had bought one of those recorders. <laughs> And he put it in the phone. So every freaking time that phone rang, he was recording, y'all. The things we had back then versus today. It's more elevated today, though, shit. It's scary. Honey. One day, I got this phone call from a friend of mine who lived in New York. They were no hanky panky. We had just been friends for years, but he traveled back and forth from Houston to New York, right? He called me and asked me what I'd be able to pick him up from the airport, right? Mm, this stuff's so good. It's a shame. Mm, mm, mm. So I was like, of course I can pick you up from the airport. Which one are you coming in? You coming in uh, Intercontinental or are you coming in to Hobbit? He said, Hobbit. That's so good. That's closer to me. So he let me know his plane. <laughs> oh, y'all. But by the time I got up for work, he had reached me and left me a message and said that his brother uh, was on his way to pick him up and that's okay. But if he could see me after work. And of course, I'm, I'm excited to see him. I want to catch up. We had, we had, he had been gone for like three months, right? So I was like, well, yes, you can come over. Absolutely. And he was Jamaican as well. That's how I got into that Jamaican world too, y'all. That's a story all by itself as well. Woo. So... I got to cut off in a minute, y'all, but let me get this portion out and leave y'all out there. Uh -huh. The time is going. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Mm. Lester came over. Ooh! Mm. There's a lot of Lester's. He came over. And in my living room, the, the our love seat was on this wall and the sofa had the long wall, right? Where he was sitting on the sofa and I was sitting on the, the love seat. Remember I told you that that recorder that was planted in that phone. That's that's how. Okay, here I go. Let's just say, Juanita, there's somebody outside your apartment, and I'm like, and we don't, and it was a bunch of trees out there, and of course the wind was blowing the trees, and all I saw was the limbs blowing. So I happened to look up, but my heart, y'all, y'all already know my heart. My, my heart almost came out my damn chest. I ain't see nobody though, y'all. I did not see. So we start talking. He said, we need to somebody is outside your apartment. I'm thinking like, oh shit, here we go. And then I heard this sound that I had never heard before. You know how, keep in mind, I told y'all, all the windows had special locks downstairs. But there was a half bath downstairs as well, whose window was yay big. So when we was putting the locks, well, not we, my brother, when he was putting the locks on the windows, we didn't think that we needed to put one on that window. Okay, y'all, we got to stop. <laughs> I'll catch up with y'all on Monday with my life, my story, life goes on. Ooh, it's getting good, y'all. So look here, thank y'all so much for coming back. Thank you for, you know, spending time with me. And, you know, if you have trials and tribulations, send them to my email. We can talk it out because it's healing. It really is healing. Now, my new hustlers, don't forget once again to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, ding dong, ding dong. And don't forget to share, like, and comment. I love to read them. 
So with that said, everybody have a fab, fab day. Be safe out there. And the last thing I want to say on this YouTube, in this YouTube community, my God, just love us all. Just love. It's easy and it's free. Have a good day, people. Bye-bye.